today is the day we sit down and I brainstorm what my dream self's like go-to or most worn outfits are. And then once we've done that, I'm actually going to figure out what things I already own and what things I need to add to my current wardrobe so that I can wear my dream self's outfits. The first one that I can think of is she's wearing like flowy pants. I think most of them have like flowy bottoms, but flowy pants and then like a little top like it's almost like a little bralette or a little like yeah just really comfy kind of loungy bra-ish thing because then sometimes she'll also layer like a bigger like either a cardigan or like some kind of linen-y button-up shirt thing over top of it but that is the first outfit that comes to mind of like what my dream self would wear because she could also wear that little bralette thing with like a long flowy skirt. Another top I imagine my dream self wearing is like a strapless top or a tube top. I think probably because I've seen a lot of like earthy, natural, gem wearing, essential oil smelling girlies wear strapless like tube tops with flowy pants and with flowy skirts. Also layering them under bigger flowier, I guess like cardigans like these or flaxy button up things. So that's the next one. The next outfit I envision is like wearing a t-shirt or some kind of button up as a dress kind of like just with little shorts underneath so you can't really tell that they're wearing shorts but she's obviously like still protected from the wind or bending over. Probably made out of linen. A lot of these are natural materials. I feel like it's either natural materials like cotton, linen, or it's like stretchy, really comfy yoga-ish materials. Speaking of kind of wearing things like dresses, if you saw my video about like finding my new aesthetic and kind of exploring this fun little girly, someone said nymph and I feel like that kind of resonated with the vibe I was going for because it was also like very in nature. But in that video, I talked about these dresses that I really liked and I feel like I also imagine my dream self wearing these cute little like white cottony dresses for my ideal travel self <laughs> the one who's living out of a backpack which is what I'm doing I don't know if she would be wearing like the full length dresses because I don't really have room but maybe like a shorter cottony white dress I also see her wearing like loose shorts denim shorts and also like flowy shorts with the little tops maybe on my like hotter days when she doesn't feel like wearing the flowy pants or the long skirts and I also see like mini skirt but I feel like I've seen people wear them somewhere it's like stretchy soft material so I feel like my my dream self's wardrobe is very effortless and comfortable stretchy laid back flowy but it still looks like put together I also see like big comfy knit sweaters which again isn't like super possible with what I'm doing but just because big comfy knit sweaters and wool sweaters go well with everything like a big comfy sweater and a long skirt I think those are really cute being able to wear them with shorts is sweet obviously with flowy pants as well like it just goes with everything oh and the last outfit that my dream self is wearing is overalls with like a little top or maybe even like the tube top I feel like I've seen so many people with really cool vibes and essences wearing overalls like really flowy loose overalls with little tops underneath so that's definitely something <laughs> that comes to mind when I think of my dream self's outfits but now I'm gonna go through and try and think now that I've envisioned all of these things and kind of brain dumped them all to you what things I already have in my closet and what things I need to try and find to supplement what I already have to become this person that I want to look like <laughs> I guess so I feel like we should start maybe with the things that I already have. So for things I already have, I already have like a really big oversized linen shirt thing that I can wear as a dress or I can wear over top of like little tops and with flowy pants. So we can check that off. I also already have a cardigan, this little cardigan, which is kind of serves the same purpose as that linen top. I can layer it over the outfits that I was mentioning. I don't really have like a big oversized sweater in the way that I envision, but I do have like a beachy knit sweater that I think because of my limited space can probably do the trick and can suit the vibe good enough. And I also have like a, like a cotton hoodie. So between the two of those, I'm sure I could figure it out. I already have a long flowy skirt. If you want to see everything that I brought with me, to Australia, you can check out this video. And if you want to see my most worn outfits where I basically like try on all the clothes that I brought with me to Australia, 
I will also put the video up here if you care to watch that, just so you could see what I'm talking about when I say I already have these things. But yeah, long flowy skirt I already have, and I already have long flowy pants. They're like linen pants, but I almost feel like in my mind, I envision my late dream self to be wearing wide leg, super flowy pants. So maybe I will have to look for something that isn't linen, maybe like a stretchier material um, that is like really wide leg. Okay, I feel like maybe now we should make a list of the things that I don't already have that I need to try and find. I definitely don't have any like little bralette or like little tops that I could wear. I have like little tank tops and stuff, but what I have in my mind is like a little a little smaller. I also don't have any strapless tops and I'm a little scared maybe to try strapless tops because I feel like I would just constantly be pulling them up but maybe I should try it just because they look nice and maybe they do actually work and I'm being dramatic. Hmm. Another thing I don't have is overalls. I do not have any overalls. So that would have to be something that I add. I also don't have one of those little white dresses. If you've been around for a while, you know that for the past like two or three years, I primarily only have thrifted my clothes and I haven't really bought anything new. A, because I'm cheap. B, because I think it's more fun and creative sometimes to like go on a little treasure hunt to find your clothes and like alter them and make them I guess more suited to you also because thrifting is more sustainable um and with me being cheap it is a little expensive to try and find sustainable and ethically produced clothing with my budget basically all this to say that I feel like there are a lot of things that I have wanted for a while but haven't gotten around to buying so this is a good um this is a good little practice I think a little exercise and I haven't bought any new clothes really, for the past, like, six months, other than a bathing suit and a t-shirt. Anyways, white dress, I don't have. Um, we said, like, wide, wide leg, like, stretchy pants. Mm, what else? I don't have any, like, little, little skirts. Maybe I would want to try those. Maybe I won't, but maybe I will. Bralette, tube top, overalls, white dress, wide leg, stretchy pants, skirt. Can I think of anything else that my dream self would wear that I don't already have I think my dream self wears more jewelry probably more gold jewelry all the jewelry I wear every day is this little ring and then my earrings which this little earring of mine I don't know if someone can help me with that but it has like a feels like a ball like inside my ear and then this earring always like sits up because it's like the piercing hole is weird but then I also have a couple of piercings here and my date pierce which I need to get more jewelry for I guess, and my nose ring. And I always wear this little this little necklace. So maybe some more rings, maybe some bracelets. I like the idea of maybe wearing some more like gems or like different colored stones. But I think this video is long enough. So maybe next time I can record myself as I try and hunt down these things that are missing from my wardrobe. And maybe I'll order them all. And then when they come in, then I can make another video trying them all on and you can help me decide what to keep. And then maybe after that, I can make another video just styling all of the new clothes that I got. So if that sounds interesting, subscribe. would love to have you around. And before you leave, I would love for you to think about this and tell me in the comments, what are the outfits that you feel like your ideal self or your dream self would be wearing because I always like grabbing some inspiration from you guys as well. Also, if you have any like favorite brands of places you think I should look for clothes, you can leave those for me in the comments too. As always, thanks for spending this little chunk of your day with me in our little corner of the internet. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.